out of it. Well, now with the Blackwell family, RTX 5070, 4090 performance at 549. Is that really true? Let's compare the specs of the RTX 4090 and the upcoming RTX 5070 to see if NVIDIA's claim holds up. The RTX 4090 is built on the Ada Lovelace architecture, boasting 16,384 CUDA cores, 24 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory, and third-gen ray tracing cores delivering 191 teraflops. It also features fourth-gen tensor cores, a 384-bit memory interface, and a boost clock of 2.52 GHz. The RTX 5070 on the other hand, is part of NVIDIA's new Blackwell series. It has 6,144 CUDA cores, 12 gigabytes of GDDR7 memory, and 4th gen ray tracing cores providing 94 teraflops, less than half of the RTX 4090's ray tracing power. The 5070 also features 5th gen tensor cores and a much narrower 192 bit memory interface. Its boost clock is 2.51 GHz, which is close to the 4090, but other areas fall short. So, where does this leave us? While NVIDIA's statement about 5070 delivering 4090 like performance might hold true for specific scenarios, likely relying on DLSS4 and AI accelerated techniques, the raw specs paint a very different picture. The CUDA core count, ray tracing capabilities, and memory bandwidth of the 5070 are significantly lower. In conclusion, while the RTX 5070 may achieve impressive performance relative to its class, but calling it 4090 performance is a stretch when we look at raw hardware specs.